I can bring myself to admit this to you out loud, but I think that the pancakes might be my favorite townies in all of The Sims 4. I think I just feel a sort of special connection with Eliza Pancakes. There's something about the level of annoying that Eliza Pancakes is to people that kind of resonates with me. However, I do not feel that way about their house. Their house is like unbelievably agitating. When you look at it up close, you'll notice that it's like kinda symmetrical, but slightly off. Just ever so slightly off, and that bothers me so much. It actually feels kind of right for them. Like if anybody was gonna have a house this annoying, it probably would be these two. But I just, I cannot bring myself to look at this place most of the time. And it's pancake day this week. I'm actually recording this video on pancake day in real life. So I feel like what better of a time to renovate the pancakes house than on pancake day. I have done this on YouTube before, but it's been a while and I feel like I'm a little bit better equipped to renovate their house now. Let me know in the comments if there are any other base game towny houses that you want me to renovate because I'm totally down to do it. One of the other ones that I should probably prioritize is the Spencer Kim Lewis house, but that one is real bad. I'm gonna need to build up some courage to try and tackle that one, but this one is doable. Also, I literally have COVID right now and I am really, really not doing well today. We are not thriving in this house. I probably shouldn't even be recording, but like I kind of want to play my little games. So we're gonna do this together. And if the house turns out bad, well then you can just, oh my God. <laughs> You can just blame the COVID, okay? So here's the plan. Oh my God, here's the plan with their house. I wanna try and do this with just the base game. And I think I wanna try and keep the essence of the Pancakes house just by maybe updating it a tiny bit. Obviously they have their two separate bedrooms upstairs. I kinda like the vibes of that. I think it would be fun if we somehow managed to fit in an extra bedroom somewhere. Maybe if we could have an extra bathroom somehow. These are the kind of things that I'm thinking about a little bit. Also, obviously number one most important thing for us to do is just extend this out by one tile. One tile and all of a sudden it's gonna be symmetrical. I think that makes an absolutely massive difference. I know it's small, but it really, really changes the game on this building. And then we can try and make the windows symmetrical too. I'm honestly considering stealing from this and turning the whole thing into a bigger balcony. It's really not gonna take much, but there's just a couple things that can be done to make the exterior seem like it makes more sense. A bigger porch is always kind of pretty too. It's gonna be nice to have some extra space out here. On the back, I think I might do something kind of similar. For now, I'm leaning towards like really extending the balcony situation. I might also make this part like completely even with it. I'm kind of trying to remember what all I've attempted to do in the past with the pancake house, like what I've tried to make it look a little bit nicer. And I know that I've messed with the floor plan a little bit before. I think adding a chimney over there kind of helps, although that does make the window situation quite sad. This also has huge blue suburban energy and maybe that's what I need today. <laughs> I'm feeling sick, okay? When I feel sick, I'm entitled to a blue suburban. I think that's the rules. Oh, you know what? I might do a little switcheroo of the kitchen and living and dining rooms because I'm thinking that because this space is bigger, it might make more sense if we put the kitchen and dining room here on this half. And then I could use this half like it's just one big living room. I don't need to keep any of their kitchen stuff. Who am I kidding? I was gonna try and move some of this stuff over, but I'm just gonna redo the whole thing. Let's be honest with ourselves. We're not gonna keep what they had. <laughs> We're not keeping this yellow. It's just not gonna happen. But yeah, this is a living room probably makes more sense. It's a it's a decent size. I might even try and copy the chimney thing. I don't know if it's too weird to have like matching symmetrical chimneys on top, but I guess the whole front is quite symmetrical, so it might not be that bad. Maybe I scoot the whole place over a bit. You know what? Let's do that. And instead of a chimney, I'm gonna put a small little bump out right here. I'm gonna turn that into a downstairs bathroom. I think the house kind of needs something on the side over there, so it's not so, so far. Flat. And it really would be helpful to have an extra bedroom. I just don't know if this is really gonna work how I want it to. <laughs> Might need to scoot that over. The original house had like huge built-in cabinet stuff going on. So I'd like to try and recreate that a little bit. Oh, I guess the living room, we could have the TV on this wall. I don't know, we'll think about that. So that's the living room. And then on this side, I wanna try and split it up. Uh-oh, oh, oh no. <laughs> okay, Um, the back's kind of a mess too, which is a problem. Maybe I could steal some space and have an extra bathroom downstairs. I don't know if that's a good idea or not, but it might be something. Cause then I've got a smaller area. The kitchen goes in this space and it can be a little bit on the smaller side. The other issue is that part of me kind of wanted to make the staircase a bit smaller. Again, not super sure if that's a good idea. It just was something that crossed my mind. Cause that does give us a more, oh, hello. Oh my God, it's totally glitched. Oh, that was very weird. Did you just see that? 
But then we have a nice big formal dining room. I guess the kitchen can still go here. And this entryway might be kind of a waste of space, but it's nice to have something a bit more formal, I think. Okay, upstairs, I'm doing some shrinking of the bedrooms. <laughs> I know this seems like a bad idea, but hear me out, okay? I'm gonna get an extra bathroom up here. This becomes that extra bathroom. It's a nice upstairs hall bathroom. This becomes an extra bedroom. So we have a small bedroom upstairs. Bob and Eliza can still have their own separate bedrooms, but we at least have some new space. Oh, you know what's better? I'm gonna swap this. If we did that, this part could become something, but probably not. I think this room's just too big. It's kind of throwing me off a little bit how big the room is. <laughs> Maybe Eliza has like a closet. Like what if this becomes a closet and then you walk through that to get to the bathroom? I don't know. They never had a stair railing before. That's so weird. Okay, well, I'm gonna open this up. I think it'll be cool to have an open space. Okay, so something like that, I think. It's just a way better, more open, prettier use of the space. I don't know about this huge balcony stuff. <laughs> I don't know if I like it very much. We'll see about that part too. Yeah, I already think that the windows downstairs look better like this. I'm kind of confused about how I want to do the upstairs windows, I think. If I remember correctly, I think that when I've done this before, I might have even moved the doors over to the side. I think I just did something different so that the front could be completely symmetrical like this. That's obviously not going to work that well for our purposes, but I wonder if we could like, I don't know, do something like this. That's going to make it slightly off from the downstairs, but I don't find that to be too bad. Oh, maybe I do. And then the problem with putting the door in the middle, like how they had it before, is that the door isn't the same height as the windows. Like, I find that really annoying. <laughs> the door being like that bothers me a lot. And the door just won't be the same height as the windows unless you really lower the windows down. But then that looks kind of silly from the inside. I don't know if it's that big of a deal, but just, uh, I'm picky. I'm sorry. I'm so picky. I wish the doors were a little bit taller. You know what else is really annoying? These windows are actually a different color. I don't know if you can tell, but the shade of blue is not the same because the base game windows don't all match like that. I'm sorry to bring it up. I know it's going to be like offensive and hurt your feelings, but just thought I would mention that. <laughs> Nothing will ever go according to plan in The Sims 4. Nothing will ever match how you want it to. Yeah, I don't really feel like I love the exterior of this house either. The whole back is kind of like not speaking to me. I might just get rid of the terrain paint too. It's kind of like boring, I guess, is the problem. I guess I can try and do some things like adding in some columns above that door to make it look a bit more interesting. And once there's stuff up here, like once we have some furniture and, and stuff on the patios, that'll probably look a bit better too. But right now, it's just not really cutting it. Okay, something like this. You know what? This is gonna make the room like so small though. I wanted this to be an extra bedroom, but it might not be able to be. I, I think what I may do instead, we'll keep it the same size as it was before. But I guess that becomes a hall bathroom and then like an on suite bathroom for, for Bob. So we've got a hall bath for everybody to access and then Bob has his own bathroom. And I think that makes sense. It's all of a sudden it's like a four bathroom, two bedroom house. <laughs> that's a bit much. There isn't even like an office space or anything, but that's okay. Of course, doing it like this makes the trim kind of glitch. I don't know if you can tell, but there's not the corner piece right there. There won't be. It won't do that because of the one tile wide space. If this was two tiles wide, it would do that. You see what I mean? It won't give it to us on a normal day. Okay, I'm gonna do these like this because I want to have the kitchen here. I'll figure it out once I've got like some landscaping in front of it, but that'll do for now. And then in their backyard before they had this like really cool bush lining everything. I kind of want to put that back. I actually kind of liked it. I think that's like genuinely kind of nice. The house is still not perfect, but I think it's maybe more along the lines of what you're looking for from the pancakes house. It still looks like an EA build, but it, it's maybe a little bit more of a practical one. I'm gonna start by making the floors a bit darker. I kinda wanna have some more of like a warmer color tone in there. I'll give them some tile in their kitchen too, cause I like how that looks a bit better. I'm really tempted to use this blue color on the cabinets. I don't know if I should be doing that, but I mean it when I say I really, really want to. <laughs> I honestly don't even know if I've ever used this blue countertop, at least in like a serious way. <laughs> But here's what I'm thinking about this, okay? Sometimes ugly is good, especially when you're making a house for like the pancake family. Like if anybody's gonna have a kind of ugly house, let's be real, it's them. Of all the Sims in the world that might have a slightly ugly vibe to their home, it's the pancake family. And I think this is kind of a fun way to add in some color. Oh my God. <laughs> 
without doing too much. Okay, I don't know about that. I was gonna see about yellow bar stools because they had the yellow walls in the kitchen before, but I don't know. I, um, okay. <laughs> That might be actually too much. Imagine though, we can get them like all of their cool appliances back. We can do some pretty things like get a fruit bowl. Are we doing a budget with this? Do I have like limited funds? I hadn't really thought about that until just now. I guess I probably shouldn't spend like too much, but I don't think we need to worry about like a budget budget. Oh great, that doesn't fit. Yeah, the yellow energy, oh my God. <laughs> the yellow energy does not really work for me. I think I need to get rid of that. Their house needs to be fancy, but in like a slightly outdated way. I think that's the vibe that I'm going for. I'm kind of going for like fancy, except it's 2003. Does that make sense? Okay, I've got these curtains that kind of match that, and then I've got the light blue that matches this, and then I think the rug should change. Oh, I might use this rug in the living room. For their rug in the dining room, oh, the base game is like so lacking, isn't it? There's not really a ton of options, and I've used all of them before, so I'm kind of struggling with this. Um, I hate to say it, but that beige is like kind of the vibes. Oh no. I wish that this chandelier was hanging lower too. That really bugs me that it's so high up. It's the tile backsplash so bad with the tile counters? They like don't work together, you know? It's really hard to find something that you can fit with that because it just looks kind of weird when you try and put it together like this. If we did like a wood tone, it would look 10 times better and I, I really stand by that, but I kind of want to use the ugly counters. That's my problem. Like I know, I have eyes. I can see that this looks way better, but I really want the ugly countertops. <laughs> All of a sudden though, this is a huge improvement. Like it just, it looks 10 times better. Two seconds later, it looks 10 times better. That also gives us the ability to maybe use a more interesting curtain color instead of the beige. Oh, oh my goodness. This is way better. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to build a blue suburban. I really didn't set out to do this. I don't know how it happened. It always happens like this though, doesn't it? Everywhere I go, there's always a blue suburban involved. Maybe the rug being sized up kind of helps and I can use these in a slightly darker color. I'm kind of getting like a, a bluish green color added in with those chairs. The cabinets behind it look nice too. Maybe we get some like golden wall sconces. Yeah, I hate to say it, but that looks so much better. It still has EA energy, but it looks so much better. There's a few things I want to do. Like I never add in light switches. So I kind of want to put some light switches in. I could see there being like three switches all together right here in the kitchen to operate like all these various kitchen lights. Oh, let's put a garden hose. Okay, what else? Aprons. Oh, they don't really fit. Okay, never mind. Fork and knife. <laughs> we'll put those somewhere. Maybe they could have like pots and pans. Those hanging on this wall are actually kind of cute. Maybe I'll swap this out. Okay, I think that's pretty. And this also has the like chef's kitchen vibes that we're going for. <laughs> I get a nice golden plate there. They really like these plates, don't they? They used them in a lot of places before. They had them in their living room, which kind of reminds me of my grandma. I think I might just try and get a small little rug or something underneath the sink, and then we'll call this room done. Oh, I never used that. Okay, let's try that wallpaper. I think that's actually kind of pretty. I also think we need to use this, this yellow stuff somewhere. I'm wondering if that might be good in the bathroom. So this area right here is just like by the back door. It's not anything too exciting, but I might try and get some pretty artwork and then like some flowers. Then we leave it mostly open so there's easy walking space. In the entryway, I think we need some built-in bookshelves or something. We also don't have an office, so we don't really need an office, I guess. Like the pancakes, they don't really do anything that would require an office space. Bob is a chef and Eliza doesn't have a job, so they don't need like an office room. I just like to add that into houses that I actually play in because it's always useful to have spaces like that. So even if we don't need need one, I'm still thinking about it in the back of my mind. Put a coat rack there in the entryway. I think it would also help to have a hanging light in the entryway. Oh, and how do these bookshelves look from up here? That's not too bad. Okay, I'm gonna come back to this room. That room kind of bores me. I might try and do the bathroom first because I'm a little bit intrigued by the yellow that we're picking. I bet we can make it work, especially if we picked a tile that felt somewhat appropriate. This tile, it's beige, not yellow, but this tile has some like accents to it. We could do that. Maybe I could pick some blinds to put on the window because that's kind of realistic. And then if we get, I don't know, like a really big shower tub combo to put downstairs, that helps too. That door's in kind of an annoying location, but 
we'll make it work. I kind of want to have counters with sinks. I'm thinking I'll do like dual sinks. Again, something to help break up the wall because we can do like the big full mirrors here. You see that kind of thing a lot, especially in older houses. I mean, my, my house has this kind of thing with the giant mirrors, but I feel like they don't really do that as much in new builds anymore. They put like more decorative mirrors in, but we are trying to channel 2003. So <laughs> we're trying to fit in what we can that works for that style. I forgot about a toilet. Um, <laughs> How did I get to this point? I'm like, oh, wait a minute. <laughs> I knew I'm forgetting something. Do you think having the toilet underneath the window is like so, so, so bad? You probably would never do that. It's right next to the neighbor's house too. Maybe the blinds are always closed. We've got them open for like the listing photos, but in real life, they keep them closed all the time. It's fine. I'm talking about listing photos. I'm sorry. I get way too into this stuff. I'm playing The Sims, but like half of playing The Sims is about playing pretend, right? I genuinely kind of like this bathroom though. I feel like it kind of works. Maybe for fun, we can try and have like totally different bathroom styles everywhere. Cause they had this before. They had these like weird black bathroom accents. We could do this for Bob's ensuite bathroom. I don't really like it, but it's also not meant to be about what I like. And I could see the Sims team doing this. If they were to build this house and like do a, I'm gonna be so mean. If they were to build this house and do a better job of it, <laughs> I could see them doing something like this. I wanna give Bob his own cute little robe. I think he might like a blue one. He wears a blue one, doesn't he? I'm trying to remember what his outfits look like because all of a sudden I'm like drawing a blank. And then I'll give him some towels too hung up on the wall like this. I'm thinking about putting a shelf in next to this window because Bob had a couple little bathroom products before. So I like the idea of trying to get those back. It'd be cute to have some storage above the bathtub. I kind of like this bathroom actually. Normally I just do all the bathrooms the same across an entire house. So it's kind of fun to do something different. Oh, Liza doesn't need that anymore. <laughs> okay, so in Eliza's bathroom, hers is a little bit more pretty because of the pink. I don't really associate pink with Eliza pancakes that much, but the game clearly does because they're always giving her like all pink everything. I'm thinking for her, I want to get a pretty bathtub underneath the window. We're also going to need a shower. Oh, I should do cheaper. <laughs> I just got done saying I want the house to be on a budget slightly. Honestly, it'd be really nice to have your own like separate space like this. Me and Dan are very lucky because we each have our own offices in this house. So we kind of have like our own rooms. <laughs> we share a bedroom, but like we have, you know, our own office space. And it's really lucky and nice to be able to have that kind of thing, to have your own space to, you know, put, in my case, pink and Sims merch everywhere. Bob and Eliza kind of have the right idea. Although me and Dan kind of need it because it, we both stream and stuff. So like you can't really record with someone else in the room also talking at the same time as you. So, Ooh. oh, I like that with the blue trim. I'm actually going to do that. I might even put that up here in this hallway upstairs. Maybe I'll do that instead in a bigger space. No, never mind. I don't like it. Sorry, I don't know what I'm doing. What I would really like to do is use a big fancy mirror like this, but I'm trying to keep it just base game. So here's my next thought. I might try and give Eliza like a fake vanity space. This is not really a vanity. It's not even a desk. They can't actually sit there or anything. It's just a skinny table that I put in the room. <laughs> but I kind of like that for this. And then we could put some makeup or some little clutter. She can keep her perfumes there. Maybe like her little nail polish and a plant. I don't know. Oh, that's pretty. Okay. this bedroom though is kind of a challenge because it's such a rectangle. It's so flat and so plain, which isn't really the vibes that I want out of this. I'm going to keep a lot of her same furniture because it's too classic for me to get rid of. And I don't know if this is a bad idea or not, but I do think I might try and build out some stuff. Like maybe we, oh my God, your curtains are so ugly. I'll move the dresser to go over there, kind of in front of the windows. I do like the little chairs. I think those are kind of nice. This lamp I think is a bit ugly. <laughs> <laughs> but we can try it. We can try it. I'm wondering about putting one of those dividers in. I never use these, but I'm kind of thinking it might be fun for us to put a divider up and then we could use that to have like a dedicated office space sort of in the corner over here. I really actually like the flowers on that a lot. I need to make more of an effort to use it because that genuinely looks really nice. Oh my gosh. It's times like these that you really remember just how lacking the base game is in terms of curtains. I want more curtains so badly. <laughs> I think that these pink ones look kind of nice. I do wish that we had maybe some more blue accents in here because I've been trying to do so much of that, but I don't know if it's going to work. I have that weird light that I've been using. <laughs> maybe I could put that above the bed. Once we get some wallpaper in here, I think it'll help. I kind of like the stripes. I know they're a bit bold, but <laughs> I actually kind of like genuinely love that. Maybe I'll put something pretty like a mirror above this. I always want to use this mirror and then it never has the right swatches that I'm looking for. <laughs> like the golds on this are so busy. They're just so much different than any of the other golds we have. I love that she has this bust. 
<laughs> it's so dramatic. I might actually move that over just a tiny bit, but I think it looks kind of cool with the gold. And then perhaps I'll just give her a bookshelf or something small, and then we'll call it a day. I think this might be Eliza's room finished. Unless, does she want like some art above her bed? I'm overthinking it again. <laughs> I think she might want something though. How about a chicken? How about a farm? I don't know. I think I like this. I think I did the best that I could with the space that we're working with. On her balcony, I might try and keep it relatively simple still. I'm gonna have to cheat for money. <laughs> but I wanna give them some flower boxes. I think I'll put those on both sides. I might put them down here too. I may put some ceiling fans on these porches. That would just be so nice to have. I might do ceiling fans and then like, mm, money cheat. <laughs> and then maybe like a game table. I don't know. I like the idea of that, but the problem with the games table is that it's so ugly. Bob can keep the woodworking table because that's useful, but I might swap this to be like more of an outside looking chess table. I guess I could just give Eliza matching chairs so it kind of looks similar on both sides. I don't know. I might just leave it like that. They've got enough lighting. So in Bob's bedroom, I want to let him keep a lot of the things that he has. I don't want to like take away his, his hobbies and his prized possessions. <laughs> so I'll let him keep a lot of his posters and stuff. I do have to be somewhat careful about about how I lay this out because it's kind of tight in here. So let me see what I can do. Yeah, I think the darker colors are better. I do want a different rug. I think this one might be good, maybe in like the darkest swatch. And then on his walls, should we pick something kind of fun? Like a, a pattern of some sort? I don't really like it, but <laughs> maybe we could try it. Oh my goodness. You guys, my head is killing me right now. <laughs> I am so not thriving. I want to finish the build. Like I'm having fun playing Sims. This is the problem, right? Like when you don't feel good, maybe it's just me. When I don't feel good, I, I really want to just like hang out and play my little games, but being on the computer <laughs> is not good. Right now staring at the screen is probably like the worst thing I could be doing, but I want to play my little games. I want to do my little Sims house. It's not fair. This is a terrible time to get sick. I mean, I guess it's kind of like always a terrible time to get sick. When is it a good time to get sick? It's just not. Okay, this is kind of what I'm thinking for Bob's room. Oh, how far can I scoot that into the wall? About there. He doesn't have a closet like Eliza does, so I gave him two wardrobe things. I kind of want to give him some little trinkets inside of his room. Like what if he had a little train lined up behind his computer or something? Well, that's not far enough back, but I like that idea. This is something that I would like to do. I'm pretending they're like Legos or something. So many people have that sort of thing in their room. Okay, so there's Bob's room done. I think that this maybe needs to be a nice blue color. And then we got to try and think about some sort of cute little details that we can put in the hallway. I'm thinking expensive artwork, perhaps a pretty light. Huge bookcase again upstairs. I feel like that seems decent. Oh, let's put a clock and pretend that it's like a thermostat because we're doing it with just the base game. And then last, we just have this extra bathroom upstairs. It's like the hall bath. I got to say it. I'm gonna use this horrible tile. I never normally do. <laughs> I kind of hate this tile, but it has the yellow and blue energy that the bathroom downstairs has. And I think that that's worth adding. So I'm gonna do it. Even if I don't like it, I'm gonna do it. <laughs> that's pretty much the whole upstairs done, except for this upstairs balcony. I think I may put a telescope up here because I kind of love the idea of a death trap for them on the, on the balcony upstairs. And then maybe I'll put some little planter boxes. I think planter boxes are always kind of a fun feature for your Sims to have. And they need some hobbies. Like Bob and Eliza could really use some stuff like this, I think. Oh, they don't have a fire alarm. I'll give them one of those in the kitchen. On this balcony downstairs, I wanna put a grill and then I want to do some sort of table. Before they had it in the yard, but I feel like it makes more sense on the patio like this. Like this way it's covered, it's a little bit more easily accessible. We do need a trash can back. I might just stick that next to the staircase right here. I still haven't done the living room, but I will get to it. I know that I need to do it. I just don't know what I want it to be like, so I'm, I'm stalling. <laughs> I'm trying to do it last. Okay, here's a question. Do we give them a pool? Cause I think that might be kind of a fun addition, but I don't know if, I don't know if it looks that good. I guess that's part of the problem. I also hate all the base game pool trims. Like I genuinely dislike all the base game pool trims. Okay, I'm not really feeling super pumped about the landscaping here. I'm trying to think of ways that we can make it a bit more interesting. First of all, I think having some layered terrain paint with the dirt will really help. And I did actually really like how before they had like a lot of pretty 
pretty wildflowers and stuff outside. I mean, this is the landscaping from the front yard. I just think this is kind of boring. So I'm gonna try and redo this part too. I'm going back and forth a lot on what color scheme is best, but I think that the orange and the yellow it looks pretty good together. I'm gonna put on the pool some sort of pool ladder. I'm also gonna get some lights for us over here, kind of like on a couple of the walls. And then I think I'll give them lounge chairs. I feel like they can be kind of simple like this. They don't need to be anything super fancy. And maybe I will put a second table in the corner. I think that kind of helps. This seems like it's pretty and like it could be finished to me, right? At least in the backyard. Let's try and do something similar in the front yard with the landscaping. I'm still not done with the living room. <laughs> I still haven't done it. As I'm recording this, the SDX drop is supposed to happen today. So I need to record about that soon. So we're on a time crunch. It always takes me significantly longer to do these builds than I think it will. I'm always like, oh, it's just the pancakes house. Like we could put that together kind of quickly. It's only the pancakes, you know, their house is so simple, but it's not. <laughs> it never is simple like you think it will be. Okay, so they have an actual walkway leading up to their front door now. I'll put some pretty dirt terrain paint. Here's what the exterior is looking like. Similar vibes, just hopefully improved upon in the littlest way. Okay, so in the living room, I was kind of thinking about building us a sort of custom set of cabinetry. It's a little bit skinnier than I want it to be though. I think that's the problem. What I would like to do is have three counters here, but you can't really do that. I guess I, I mean, we could flip them around. They kind of clip a little bit, but we can pretend that they're not, but it's probably for the best to just do the two. I'm doing this cause it's like kind of what they had before. And I think it fits in with that 2003 vibe that we're talking about. And I'm being so serious about that. I feel like having built-ins around the TV like this, that's totally, totally a thing of that era. Built-ins are still nice, don't get me wrong, but I think that like the cabinetry and like the big TV cabinet vibe, it, it makes more sense back then because of the, you know, big box TVs. So it's not that we don't have that now. It's just not the same. <laughs> like the built-ins now are a little bit more like decorative and not so much like a TV cabinet, you know? I'm envisioning in my head that this cabinet would like close. You could like open it and close it around the TV. That's what I want. It's not what's happening, but that's what I want. <laughs> Is it bad to use the same bookshelves again? Maybe. I just want them. <laughs> I want more shelves. I think it would be so pretty like that, but probably not worth it. Right here, I'm trying to put like a little set of chairs in front of the windows like this. I'd love to have an upright piano in here. We just don't have one in the base game, so we can't really use that. The grand piano is too much. <laughs> it's too big. I don't know if we can make that work. They had originally a chess table in their living room, and I did like that, but I don't know if it fits. This wall is difficult and confusing. The room is like too big of a rectangle. I always feel like I have this problem when I try and do these big houses like this. I'm gonna put this plant right where Bob is. Sorry, Bob. <laughs> I need the decoration for it. I might get another dish on the wall over here. We can do some clutter. Maybe I'll do a pretty set of yellow flowers. Oh, you know what might actually be really good? Let me see if I can scoot this door over just a tiny bit. I might put something like this, kind of like a sofa table, <laughs> as they say, but I'll put it on the wall behind the sofa and then we can get a big piece of art there. There's some nice artwork in this game. There's stuff like, I don't know, this kind of has pancakes energy. It's fancy. We can get it in a pretty gold color. Oh, this is a good spot for me to do the bookshelves that I wanted too. I'll put those there and then maybe get, I don't know, I like to use some of the little bust type stuff, like the bunny. That seems good. <laughs> And maybe I'll put a bookshelf here then. I think they used to have a kind of fancy bookshelf like this in their dining room and they don't have that anymore. So we could use that here. Dare I put another set of these dishes on this wall? <laughs> you know what? I think that might be done. I think the house might be finished. I think this looks a lot better. I think it's a, a layout that makes more sense. It's slightly updated to have the open living and dining room. We've got a couple cool things like a chimney, which I didn't paint. <laughs> I will go back and do that now. Sorry about that, everybody. You were probably really worried about this the whole time. <laughs> I've also actually accidentally made the house like way more expensive, which is my bad, but I think it's improved. I, I really feel good about this. It was kind of fun for me to do. I think especially with the layout upstairs, I think that having the open staircase and like a bit more of a hallway, it just is easier this way. You're welcome, Bob and Eliza. I have really gone out of my way to make your life better today. So hopefully you enjoy it. I'm gonna put it on the gallery just as pancakes, Reno. It all of a sudden has four bathrooms and is so much more expensive. Again, so sorry. It is up in case you want to download it. Thanks for sitting here and playing my little game with me because oh, am I missing a column? Oh no. It also is not uploading. Oh my god. I was gonna say thank you. I needed this today because I'm not feeling good, but now I'm- No! <gasps> no! Oh my god. This is a disaster. I have to delete it and put it up again. <laughs> I can't have this. I cannot have this. Go 
go away. I'm sorry if you noticed that earlier and you were just absolutely screaming at the screen. I don't know how I didn't see that until just now. I feel like I must have deleted it by accident or something. I don't know what is, I don't know, but it's done. <laughs> it's up and I think I'm gonna end this video right here because clearly I'm not doing well. It's also 1.03 p.m. and there was supposed to be an SDX drop at one. So I have to go record that now. <laughs> but thank you for watching. If you missed that SDX drop video, I posted it a couple days ago, technically on YouTube. I'm just recording these out of order. So you can go back and watch that to know what came in the update. And with that, I'm gonna go and I'll catch you all tomorrow. Okay, bye everybody. Yeah, I don't even like the Pancakes House. Even renovated, it's just, I don't love the Pancakes House. It's kind of ugly.